here we are with another busy day curbside classics Megan's working away on some replacement camper seats fully electric Jaguar yeah. S-Type slight modification to the mountains because well we won't go into why that's necessary Yeehaw! 100 E's getting its clutch again after a slight mishap involving a push rod and the location of it and just to keep myself busy a lovely new regulator for the argon which i bought for steve why do we need a new regulator he asked oh i don't know buddy this one's tip top that is nothing the matter with that one now the fluid won't run because it's got so many kicks in it Yeah, Just got the uh, clutch master cylinder in. Set to go up the upside down to clear the throttle bodies, but um, that's all right. It's all bled. And, well, we uh, had a nightmare with it. Yeah, we did have a bit of a nightmare with it in the beginning. And the slave cylinder was no good. Put a new slave cylinder in, and yeah, it's all good. It's all up and running, so we got clutch. So it's all good. The exhaust is all run out now. Yeah, to the bottom. Exhaust is all run. Look, they can run the back box. Oh, what's happening, Steve? Hello, people. It's me again, Steve. Of course. <laughs> I'm doing the red today, but it looks like I've got to cut this out because that should go on there like that but then the bonnet won't shut. So I've got to lower it down to about there. So if I cut this out, either side, that should come back lovely. It's got a nice big header tank rad. So Huge, the header tank on it. Got plenty of room in there though. Plenty of water. Cool. Again. Well, as you can see, we've been doing a bit more on the engine. Throttle bodies are on. These come from, was it Dan at ST? Dan ST. Dan ST. Um, setting all that up. We're just getting all rads in. Exhaust is done there. Megan's welded that up, so we've finished all that off. <coughs> yeah, that's all finished off. Come out quite nice once it's all painted up. Dave's still doing the dash. That's a nightmare. Um, at the moment we're trying to do the headlining. Oh, what a nightmare that is. Yeah, headlining is not fun in any car. Mm -hmm. But while we're having a chat again, going back to the retro Ford sump. When I was younger I used to muck about with welded sumps and have nothing but trouble. So if you're doing it, it works out cheaper to buy the real thing because by the time you keep buying sumps what are leaking a good quality sump like that yeah you're just throwing your money away i mean there's a lot of cheaper sumps out there but yeah. and you've got, proven you know and you've got all come back with them with retro ford you can phone them and they'll help you any way they possibly can because that's how they are and the same with the injection yeah. um we've got the me going on it so yeah, yeah 221 yeah the 221 so it's pretty simple to wire up um, Dave's do doing good. all the other wiring, but he's ever so slow. We're Dave's trying to get there. him going. He's doing the clocks. Yeah. Then the oh, other thing we want to know. I'm drinking his tea. We can't make up our mind whether to have black clocks or white clocks. Ah. So we thought we put it to you. So we're going to show you the clocks in a minute. Yeah, we'll show you the clocks in a minute. Yeah. And then maybe some of you could send your decisions in. Yeah, if you can comment on them, what ones you prefer the look of. Yeah. Whether we're taking any notice of it or not, it's another thing. Yeah. But we would like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> so Steve's got the uh, header tank mounted. Uh, the fuel regulators there. The factory strut top <clears throat> mount covers, which actually hide everything. They look really nice. Oh yeah, it's all getting there. 
Yeah, when, when we was talking to Dan at ST, he said the longer the trumpets, the more torque it'll have. So <clears throat> we've had to move all the brake stuff back as far as we can possibly get it. It had a bracket on it, so we've cut that bracket off and moved it all. But this is going to be a bit of mucking about trying to get this on. But it does go on, we've had it on, but we're waiting to... We've got a pot of sensor here, an airflow temperature. But um, once that's done, no light, all this can go on and then that's all sweet. All the petrol side's done. We've started running the petrol tank in the back, but we've got to get on with that. The radiator's a big-headed one, a bit like Dave, but Dave's getting on with the clocks and then we want you to vote on what one we're going to have, as we said. Yeah. I'll change the oil um, filler because it would have been too far up the back. I couldn't yeah, get nothing in it. the back of the rocker box. But the rocker boxes on these are um, magnesium. What are they? magnesium. Yeah. And you can't weld them on, I think, because they just catch fire. So what I've done, i cut it out neat and I've um, used Araldite with it. Yeah, and, JB um, weld, yeah. yeah. So that'll do that. But it ain't going anywhere. Yeah. And it looks right, so. Yeah, we're going to have this powder coat, I think. <clears throat> Because you can't simply get a nice finish on them otherwise. Yeah. So, yeah, it'd be nice.